the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood. Join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. All right, I couldn't wait for you. I had to guzzle that one down because I really don't want to be in here today because I've been doing taxes all day today. And by doing taxes, I'm, I mean, I'm not doing them. <laughs> I'm uh, going through QuickBooks and realizing my, my QuickBooks didn't automate for like the last half of the year. I'm trying to have to hunt and search and match all these receipts. And I want to um, throw my head through the wall and um, hope it knocks me out. And then I wake up the next day and that somebody had done my taxes for me. But I know that I'll still be in that predicament. Anyways, I don't know if you have things in your life that really drain you, like numbers and technology do for me. Taxes is both of those in one for me. It really drains me and then it makes me feel like even getting in the gym, which I enjoy working out, sounds like the biggest task in the world. And I don't want to do it. It kind of drains my zest for life. Um, so I'm going to get the system in order this year once I get everything caught up. So I won't run into this again and uh, have it try to slow me down. Uh, keep the consistency in the hard times, trying to. Today's a leg day, and um, I just did a little backwards walk. You know, got the blood flowing, got the uh, quads activated a little bit. Good knee health exercise before I jump into some ATG split squats, some RDLs, barbell RDLs. And I want to jimmy rig that leg extension and hamstring curl set up again because I just hadn't isolated my right quad in so long. You know, I'm getting a bunch of leg work in where my quads are getting worked, but to isolate it in that way, I, it, it responded really well. I got crazy DOMS, a delayed onset muscle soreness, like two days after doing them. I was almost like gimping around. There was so much muscle soreness, which was awesome because I knew, okay, it worked it. And now it's healed up. It's a little less pain in my knee, a little stronger, and now I'm going to be able to fit into some of those exercises that I, exercises I do for knee health even better with this newfound strength, uh, get into the positions that I need to to be able to stress uh, the muscles in, in functional ways so that they can take the stress off my knee and onto the muscle. Um, all that to say, I guess my knee's getting a little bit closer uh, to being ready for some of the things that I really want to do, like the MMA, incorporating more plyometric movements within my routine, uh, just doing athletic things that I love to do so I can do my own stunts and get up on this wall, join all these, these rad uh, superheroes and uh, action stars up here. I'm going to do a little photo shoot on Friday, get some more headshots um, for my acting profiles and all those things for casting. Uh, I'm trying to, as I've talked about a lot, uh, become an action star and really niche down, become one of those huge guys, just where it's obvious, okay, that's a really, really big man. We know, know, we know what to do with him. I go out for a lot of the big, uh, gruff, bad guy roles and just the muscle, you know? So I'm trying to put on as much of that on my body as I can. You know, I got the beard and, you know, just kind of a gruffer look. Um, more rugged, and so it's easier to kind of place me in the lane that I'm trying to go down in Action Star Lane, you know. I'm going to be going to Vegas next week for some of the uh, pre-Super Bowl events. Uh, check out a handful of events out there. I'm going to be a guest at the Tunnel the to Towers Foundation, awesome foundation for uh, helping vets, homeless vets, uh, veterans who served our country and are homeless and taking care of them. So uh, it'll be cool, a cool opportunity to meet a lot of new people and um, hopefully make some good connections, you know, and uh, see some old familiar fla faces. And um, yeah, yeah, there's always a lot of guys that I have previously played with or against. And it's just really cool to see not only what they're doing now, but how well they're doing in a lot of cases. And um, yeah, it's, it's a good time. So that'll be in Vegas, which should be awesome and crazy and all the, all the things. Um, I'll stay out of the crazy and just go to the awesome. Now, what else? I got to get to this workout, you know? What, what am I doing? Rah!
forgot to mention some good news I got the other day. Um, one of my screenplays made its way over to Netflix. Um, one of my agents sent it over. He didn't even tell me that he did, but I got a buddy at Netflix in development who hit me and was like, dude, we got your script. I'm going to read it. I was like, what? That's crazy. Um, so that's awesome. You know, fingers crossed, but, um, you know, I never bank on anything or get my hopes up. Um, in Hollywood, it's mostly nose. So you got to have real thick skin and kind of get used to it and almost prepare yourself that everything will be a no and just keep, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And, and kind of, you almost have to start liking no, you know, you have to try to force yourself to get a dopamine hit when you do get no by switching your mindset around of like, oh, I'm that much closer to my yes. There's, there is something out there for me that's just for me. And every no is getting me closer to that thing. You know, just little, little psychological things you got to hack your way into. Um, everybody's different. Find yours. Uh, but that was still really cool, nonetheless, that it's over there. So people are going to be looking at it. And uh, I'll definitely get some feedback on it because I know who's reading it. So that's rad. So I'm going to do one more set of RDLs at 315, but in between, while I rest on the, hand, the posterior chain, I'm going to get my one single exhaustion set on each leg of the leg extensions. So how I do this, well, first off, you can kind of see I'm jimmy rigging this, but I'm going to you know, go until about a rep before failure just on one set. Uh, and then take, you know, just a couple, few second breaks and get to 25 after I'm already exhausted. Uh, Ah, that's about good right there. I think that was 21. Now I'll start a 25 count. Oh. Thirteen. So this is rough not only because the sets are short, but I'm keeping my leg in this tension position here. So it's not letting all the blood out. The burn just kind of stays the whole time, but enough of it leaves to where I feel like, oh, I guess I can do the next set, you know? Mm. But you want to stay in that place, that lactic acid kind of burning feeling. I'll call that another five. I think that was 18. Ooh. Some more. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh. Telling you, if you do this, just do one set of these. Uh, you do more than that, you're gonna be just way too sore. It'd take a while to recover. Um, last time I did these, I it was again just one rep or one set each side, and I was blitzed, man. Whew. 
I'm going to do the same thing other side. I don't need to show you that. You get it. Last set. These leg days are minimalistic. But as I've said many times, I'm taking some volume away from the legs. Getting the most bang for my buck for the exercises I choose for knee health and athleticism. And putting the rest of the volume into my arms. But still my calves, so that's part of the leg. But the... Ah, shirts and shorts muscles because they're lagging a little bit on me. Ooh. Ooh. Finito. Like the RDL too, because it's a good upper back builder as well. A lot of stress and tension and work having to keep, keep that good back posture as you're coming down on the descent. So, oh, you're moving the needle a whole lot more than I think any of us realize when we come in here and put some work in on days even when our bodies may be nowhere near 100% and we'll get nowhere near the weights we lifted last time or the output, that consistency really adds up and adds up over time. Keep getting it. 